The round of severe storms on the way with a swift moving area of low pressure, just like what we saw this past weekend and on Easter Sunday. I know we're kind of tired of hearing about it, but it's happening again for right now, though. Nice and quiet day across Birmingham. We had a lot of sunshine across the entire state of Alabama. In fact, fair weather cumulus clouds showing up just after 615 76 degrees out there. It's a little bit warmer compared to yesterday, and it's been breezy all day long. That northwest wind coming in at 15 miles per hour, funneling in that drier air, really helping to bring our temperatures up. Got up to 81 earlier in Tuscaloosa. We're now at 79 more more 80 showing up down to the south at 82 in Mobile and 80 in Dothan. Now Here's a look at the severe weather outlook for Thursday. Got an enhanced risk, a level three out of five on our scale for places along and southeast of I-20. 60 to 70 mile per hour winds again on the board for this next event. Also have that possibility of large hail and maybe some brief spin up tornadoes. And this is going to be really early during the day Thursday. Here's the storm maker, this upper level low over the west coast. You need a big dip in the jet stream in order for severe weather to happen in Alabama this time of year. And that's what we're going to get. We already have that over parts of Arizona. Arizona and Utah right now and over the next couple of hours we'll see that warm front gradually approach the region by tomorrow afternoon we see some showers develop out ahead of it nothing too crazy just some light showers and extra cloud cover as winds turn to the south tomorrow now the heavy rain arrives late Wednesday evening by around 10 p.m. the rain crosses over from Mississippi and the storms really start to fire up really early during the day Thursday check this out 3 a.m. is when we're looking at these really strong storms developing towards Green and Hale counties this will move uh, uh, move east as the morning goes on by 5 a.m. It crosses over I-65 and then pushes over into Georgia around, let's say, 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. Now, there is another window where some storms could pop up before the front passes through. Our model doesn't really have that developing, but it is a possibility for sure. High threat for high winds and a medium threat for all other modes of severe weather that is subject to change. But of course, uh, we'll definitely be watching it as the uh, as the morning goes on. So here's a look at the latest time frame around 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. for our southern counties. Not all the counties are highlighted because it'll be mostly our southern counties that deal with the brunt end of the severe weather. Then 3 a.m. to 8 a.m. for places east of I-65. So certainly something to be aware of. Make sure you turn your notifications on before you go to bed. Uh, Wednesday night. Here's the rest of the seven day forecast. We are weather aware for Thursday. Some clouds hang around for Friday and the more rain likely on Saturday.